Hi, in this video, I'll teach you a new form for lines. Uh, when two points of a line is given, we can write another form of equation for the given line. Let us start with one example. Uh, example asks for an equation in point parallel form uh, for the line through these two points. So let me call the first one P, the second one Q. One thing that we always need to check is that do we have a point? Yes, we have more than one, but I'll choose to use only this one. And then do we have a, a parallel vector? Well, parallel vector is not given explicitly, but we have to use the given information. Two points on the line is given, and we have to use those ones to find a parallel vector. Okay. Geometrically, you can see that, okay, I have been given P and Q. And what I can do is that I can make orient directed line segment. PQ and then uh, find the equivalent vector, a vector which is equivalent to PQ. That vector has exactly same direction, same length as PQ, and as a result, it is parallel to the line itself. So this is the fact i want you to see and understand that the vector which is uh, equivalent to pq is parallel to the line very nice well, that means what? That means that we, we can set B to be that equivalent vector, which is the end point minus the starting point. Well, the reason that I'm putting Q minus P, uh, the vectors, these are the vectors with end point P. So in this case, it is 2, 0, 5, minus 1, negative 2, and 3. And this gives us 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus negative 2 is 2. And 5 minus 3 is 2. What well, we have V, then we can go ahead and write the point parallel for P. Here is 1, negative 2, 3. Plus T times V, which is 1, 2, 2. Well, this work can be done in very general setting. In general, if P and Q are two distinct points on a line, then we always can set the uh, B, uh, the parallel vector to be q minus p and then use that to write point parallel form p plus t times q minus p while this t can be multiplied inside distributed over the matrix uh, the, the vector uh, subtraction you get p plus t q minus t p well, we have two P here, and then we put them together. So it will be one minus T times P plus T Q. And this is what we are looking for. This is a new form of equation. XT equals to one minus T times P plus T t q this new form is called two point four 
and you need to remember that and see the components and use it when you need it this is the new form i was trying to teach okay let's then then the example write the point two point form find the two point form uh for the above line while above line had p one negative two three and q two zero and five well just plug in everything in this equation xt equals to one minus t times one negative two three and q is two zero five multiply scalar multiplied by t and added to what we have 